I saw the movie. I watched half of the movie like this, because I was so scared. No need to be sorry. Does it mean I've done my job? You did your job, and then some. Her job was to star as the daring and defiant heroine of the stomach-twisting sequel. In this movie, Millie's character, Reagan, has a way to use her deafness as a defense when her family is forced to venture outside the confines of their farm. What I love about your character is you're not playing a character who's deaf and that is their defining characteristic. You're playing a character who happens to be deaf, but who is a warrior, who's brave, who's a little bit rebellious. What does that mean to you? She's the heroine, she's saving the world, and it's really inspiring. It's helped me reframe how I can take advantage of all of these, quote, disadvantages, and turn it around and make something more positive. Like her character, Millie's the only person who's deaf in her family, and on set, she helped teach her movie family how to sign. Does John have a different style of signing than Emily or than your brother in the film, Noah? Yes, everybody has a different style of signing. John is um, a, a big signer. He uses his sign space quite well. Emily, on the other hand, is more fluid and artistic. She's almost model-like. And Noah, it's just so cute. We're a little bit faster. It's so great to see how open and excited everybody was to learn. Her life experience also shaped the film in another way, as writer and director John Krasinski recently told our Gail King. I thought the beauty, too, it would just all of a sudden go quiet. Yeah, yes. So we could see it from Reagan's point of view. That's it. Well, that was my favorite thing. I had asked Millie's mom if Millie could hear anything or was she completely deaf? And she said she actually can hear something. It's almost like she has an envelope that she can hear a low rumble. And I brought that to the sound guys and I said, we have to try to achieve that. What does that mean to you to be able to have audiences and probably millions of people be able to experience the world through your eyes. It's so nice to be able to see somebody else watch this film and understand what the perspective is like. Millie got her break when she was 14 years old in the 2017 movie Wonderstruck, starring alongside Julianne Moore and Michelle Williams. She auditioned as a favor to her drama club teacher. Never did I think I would become a professional actor. We don't see that. You don't really see people like me on the screens. That role launched her from a quiet upbringing with her family in Utah to Hollywood sets and premieres, giving her a platform to educate the world about deafness and inspire others. I want kids out there to see themselves represented on screen. They can be the ones to save people. They don't have to be saved. Have you faced those challenges, people feeling like you need to be saved or people doubting your ability? Yeah, I, I would say growing up I experienced those types of things all the time. People would maybe feel sorry for me or pity me. And then it made me start to question myself, am I not normal? And it was hard to discover my identity. But um, after filming and, you know, just kind of growing up a little bit more, I'm finding who I am. So I can tell people I'm proud to be deaf. So what's next for you, Millie? Well, I just graduated a couple weeks ago from high school, so that's very exciting. I'm thinking maybe in the future, potentially applying to film school. I'm very interested in writing, perhaps directing, uh, maybe even producing. Um, I just want to remind myself that I shouldn't limit myself. Run. With her limitless potential, she's the role model she never had. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Pittsburgh.